Hello you guys, it's Shana Marie again. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today we're just going to be doing a series of full body stretches. So it should be really simple for you. This is not a yoga flow. It's just a series of stretches so that we can stretch out our body from our heads to our toes. Um, you don't need anything other than yourself. I have some coffee with me, so if you want to wake up this morning and drink some coffee and just take a nice easy stretch, grab yourself a cup and come right back. Um, otherwise, we're going to get started right away. So let's start on our mats. Take your feet out in front of you and place your palms behind you. You're just kind of lounging here. Your fingertips are facing your feet. We're going to press the feet down, press our hands down, and then just lift your hips up. When you lift up, squeeze your inner thighs and pull your shoulders back. Take a couple breaths here, and if you want to add a little extra, you can rock back and forth, maybe gazing at the ceiling. Just take a few breaths here, just getting that nice heart opening to begin. Stretching those shoulders out, mine are very tight today. And slowly lower it back down. Let's crawl ourselves forward all the way to a plank pose, or to a tabletop pose, hands and knees. When you reach your tabletop pose, just take a breath in, lifting your heart, letting your belly fall down, clench the shoulders back. Exhale to round up your spine, tuck your chin, and just push into the earth to lengthen your arms. Inhale to lift up, pull the shoulders back. Exhale to round, tucking that chin, puff your shoulders up. Let's do that two more times, inhale, lift up. Pull the shoulders back. Exhale to round. And last time, inhale, let the belly dip. Exhale, round it. And finding a neutral table in between those. Take a deep inhale, lift your left palm up to the sky. And on your exhale, weave it underneath you. Laying down on that shoulder, crawl your right hand forward and off to your left side. You can stay here, or if you want to add a little extra, stretch your right leg back out, tapping the toes to the back of your mat. So deepening that twist and just rolling up onto that arm. Take a few breaths. Really sinking into it. Hopefully you have some good music, some calming morning music with you, because. I'm not that interesting to listen to. <laughs> All right, and slowly bringing that hand back. Inhale your left palm to the sky. Exhale, tabletop pose. Second side, breathe in, right arm reaches up. Exhale, weave underneath you, lay down on that shoulder. And walk your left hand forward off to your right side. You can stay here, or if you want to add a little extra, pick your left foot up and stretch those toes to the back of your mat. Take a few breaths here, just leaning on that shoulder. Opening that shoulder up, you want to be energetically pulling your right arm back, opening the shoulders up. And slowly pulling your left hand back. Inhale, right fingertips to sky. Exhale, tabletop pose. Take one cat cow here, breathe in, lift your heart, let your belly dip. Exhale, round the spine, tuck your chin. Keep your hips right where they are and just start to crawl your fingertips forward. So you're stretching those arms out, keeping those hips right there. Start to drop your chest towards the earth. You want your arms to be a little bit wider to open the shoulders up. So this is called puppy pose. It's like a more intense child's pose, way more intense. Focus on opening the shoulders and letting your heart fall towards the ground. Take a few breaths. Really open up. And two more breaths here. A 
slowly lift yourself back up. Walk those fingers back. And you can keep, keep your hands nice and wide, spreading the fingertips. Curl your toes under, lift your hips up and back to a downward facing dog position. If you want to take a quick cycle to the legs here, feel free. Otherwise, inhaling, stretch your left leg back long. On your exhale, pull the knee into your chest. Squeeze it nice and tight. Step lightly forward. Lower your back knee, breathe in, low lunge. Fingertips can reach. On your exhale, bring your fingers to earth. Walk your left foot forward, and we're just going to straighten that left leg. You want your hip to be over your right knee. And then energetically pull that right hip back. Spread your toes, reach them to your face. And last thing here, lengthen your heart forward. So you're folding over the hip creases. You're not rounding the spine, you're lengthening forward and then lowering a little. Keep pulling that left hip back. Take a few breaths in this half split. I can feel some stuff releasing here. And exhaling, bend the knee. Place your right palm down and inhale, left arm to sky. You might want to walk that left foot out a little bit wider on your mat. We're going to weave that left hand back, reaching back for the right foot with a bind. If you want a little extra rock to the pinky edge of your left foot and open the hip up. You can stay here or come to your forearm or wherever you're at today. My hips are very tight, so I'm going to stay nice and high. Find some breath. Pull the foot in for a little more quad. And exhale, release. Step back to downward facing dog. Deep breath in, stretch your right leg back long. Exhale, pull the knee to your chest, squeeze it tight. Step lightly forward. Lower your back knee, breathe in, fingertips reach. Exhaling, bring fingers to earth. Walk that right foot forward and then straighten the leg, pulling it back. You really want to spread those toes, reach them to your face, and keep dragging the hip back. It's almost like you're wrapping it back. Think long spine forward, heart forward. Take a few breaths. Deep inhales here, lengthen. Two more breaths, get that stretch. Exhaling, bend the knee. Place left palm down, inhale, right hand to sky. Again, you can take that right foot wider and then reach the hand back for a bind. If you're not at that bind yet, that's okay. Just lightly push the hip out. All right, find a little breath. Pull that left foot in. If you have the bind, open your heart towards the ceiling. A few more breaths. And exhale, release. Step back, downward facing dog. Cycle those legs again, take a few breaths. Come forward to your tippy toes and lower all the way to the ground. Bring, take a sip of coffee if you want. Bring your arms to your sides in a cactus like shape. And then extend your right arm out long and just tent the fingertips. Start to push into those right fingertips to turn your chest up towards your right. You're leaning into that left elbow. You should feel it in the armpit area. You can stay here if this is super intense, or if you want to add extra, pick your right toes up and tap them behind you. Whew. That should be really intense here. Take a few breaths. You can also extend the left arm out long, but I like to keep it at cactus. It's a little more deeper stretch in there. A few more breaths. It's really intense shoulder opener. And slowly come back through center. 
bringing those arms to the sides. Let's stretch that left arm out long, tempting the fingers, and start to roll onto that left hand. Again, if you need extra, tap the left toes behind you. Just keep opening that shoulder up. A few breaths here. Two more breaths. Open it up. And slowly come back to center to neutral. Bring your hands along your sides and you can push yourself back up to a tabletop pose. Swing the feet around and we'll meet seated. Doing a few last stretches here. So this is a quick morning routine, so it should be pretty nice for you. Let's take our legs out long and pull your left knee into your chest. Step the foot outside your right thigh. Take a deep breath here, lift your heart up. If you want to go extra, bend your right knee and take the heel outside your left glute. Deep breath here wherever you're at today. Inhale your arms to the sky, and exhale, turn, twist to your left. Grab a hold of the outside of your thigh and then lengthen your spine back up. So you're tugging on that left leg and then turn your chest towards the back of the mat. So a little twist. Keep lightly pulling on that leg that you should feel this in the outer thigh. Prop your left fingertips behind you and try to get your spine tall. Take a few breaths here. Slowly twist it back to center. Unwind the legs. This time, pull your right leg in, plant the foot outside your left thigh, and then if you have need more, bend that left leg, take the heel outside of your right glute. Deep breath here, arms over the head, and exhale, twist to your right. Grab a hold of the outside of that right thigh, prop your fingertips behind you, and just lift your chest up. Few breaths here, maybe turn your gaze off that right shoulder. And slowly bring it back through center. Let's take our legs out nice and wide. Scoop your flesh out from underneath your sit bones. And just sit your spine up tall. Deep inhale here. And on your exhale, fold over your hip creases forward. If you're extra tight, you can bring your feet up a wall and just let them fall out to the sides. Otherwise, just fold over those hip creases for a wide legged forward fold. Drop your neck, let your head hang. Few more breaths here, let yourself soften into it. These forward folds take a little bit more patience. Couple more breaths, sink deeper. Slowly pull it back up. Bring those feet out in front of you, legs together. Scoop that flesh up from underneath your sit bones again. If you need a cup of coffee, take a sip. Deep breath, lengthen, and just hold lightly forward. Taking a few more breaths, you can lightly tug on the feet, but not 
pulling right. Just a little pressure. And slowly bring it back up. All right, and then just taking your fingertips behind you, planting them on the earth. Keeping your legs straight this time, if possible, if you want to, pull your feet in again for that same stretch we did at the beginning. Otherwise, try to keep your legs straight, lock your them nice and tight. You're gonna push down, lift your hips up, and just get a nice reverse plank. Press into your palms, you should feel this in the shoulders. Again, if you need to, just pull the feet in. Totally reasonable. Just take a couple breaths. This is a more intense stretch, but it really hits those shoulders nice. An area that gets extra tight for most people. A couple breaths. And exhale, bring it back down. Let's do one last arm stretch before we lay down and do one last stretch. Bring your arms out in front of you. Cross your left elbow over your right. And then either wind the arms around, meeting the palms, or grab opposite shoulders. Whether you have either, press your elbows together and reach them forward. Spread your shoulder blades apart. So imagine your shoulder blades literally pulling apart from each other. Reach your elbows forward. Take a few breaths. And then slowly start to pull your elbows down. Imagine your shoulders dropping away from your ears. And just add a little tuck to the chin. Maybe rocking your neck back and forth. And inhale back up. Let's switch arms, right elbow on top left this time. Use your own variation. Just reach those elbows forward. Take a breath. Spread your shoulders apart. A few moments here. Slowly draw the elbows in. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Just take a little rock to the neck. Feels good. And coming back up, release. Let's do one last stretch. Lay all the way down onto your backs. Plant your feet on the earth, and then just cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Pull the right knee in. Weave your left hand through your thighs, and then clasp the hands behind that right thigh. Lightly tug and pull that left, right knee in. You can spread your toes and reach your heel. And with your left elbow, lightly press that left knee out. Take a few breaths here. You can continue to pull in a little bit. You really want to spread the toes and reach your heel. It adds a little extra stretch. It also saves your knee from getting hurt. And exhale, put that foot back down, unwind. Let's switch sides, right leg on top of left. Pull the knee in, you can weave that right hand through, clasping the hand, and just lightly pull in. Take a few breaths, kick that knee out with your right elbow, if that feels a little bit better. Exhale back down. Let's take one last happy baby. So pull the knees in, grab the insides of your feet, and then imagine your tailbone coming down towards the earth. Open your knees wide and just let your inner thighs relax. Maybe you rock from side to side, massaging your spine. Breathe, breathe, breathe. 
And if you want to add extra, you can straighten the legs. Getting a really deep stretch here. Kicking the heels out. And slowly come back through. You can rock your way all the way back up to a seat. And that's it. Those are our series of stretches for today. Obviously, we could add more. Um, I do have a hamstring stretch video along with tight hips video and tight shoulders. So if you need a little extra or you want to try a new video next time, please take a look. Otherwise, thanks for joining me today. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time.